I love this. This is the coolest thing. Well, Carolina Gonzalez Yano stopped by uh, to show, share more about uh, this incredible pumpkin lover's paradise. And I'm so excited to talk about this because every year this is one of the coolest events. It really is. I, I mean, it's one of my favorite that we run. So good. I'm happy to be here to talk about yes, it. Yes. Amazing. Okay. Well, let's jump right in here. Um, how did Magic the Jack-O-Lanterns get started? This is such a cool brainchild. Yeah, well, so 13th Floor Entertainment Group uh, started out as a haunted house company, right? Yeah. Um, but there's an entire other demographic that really enjoys Halloween, and it's everyone who doesn't like being scared. Yeah. So uh, we, we had this idea to bring the spirit of Halloween in a way that is truly family friendly, all ages. Uh, you can bring your kids, you can bring the grandparents, go on a date. It's kind of great for everyone. Yes, and you think about going on a date or doing something like that and you're like, oh, romance and candles. And yeah, you've got some light up candles, some fun things out there, but just this is, yeah, <laughs> just bringing in kind of that magic. Look at how beautiful this is. This is so gorgeous, you guys. So how did it end up at Hudson Gardens too? I mean, exactly as you're saying, it's it's a beautiful venue. I don't know if you've been uh, just on a regular day. Yeah. Uh, and it's got a perfect trail that we we've kind of taken over. Uh, so yeah, it just it kind of worked out the location, the beauty of it, uh, and they've been great partners to work with. Definitely, I can imagine too for for you guys who have so much of a hand in making sure that this all comes together. This has got to be so fun to walk through once it's done. Oh, right? it's, it's amazing! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can only imagine. So, how long did it take to create this big pumpkin wonderland? Literally years. Oh, I, I bet. It's uh, and every year we add to it and, and bring new things and new designs. Uh, so, I mean, for example, we have brand new this year, a pumpkin tunnel, which is a whimsical walkthrough wow. experience. And that alone took six months to make every single pumpkin that will be a part of that. Wow. Oh yeah. my gosh. So you guys probably have like carvers and artists on staff that are just working constantly. Oh yeah. Lots of people. It's, it's a whole production. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So you brought an example today, a, a couple of things here. Uh, can you kind of walk us through what you got? I love this one behind yeah. you here. So we, I brought two examples of different types of pumpkins we do. Okay. The first one, uh, the, the dog display here, huh. uh, just kind of shows like the artistry that you can get. Like, you know, you think pumpkin, you think, you know, a couple triangles in a semicircle, yep, that's right? that's me, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> just showing that, uh, you know, you can do a lot with some shading and, cool. and the artistry there. And then we have our mushroom friend over here. Yes. He's brand new this year, has a whole family of mushroom friends. Uh, I, I, when I stepped on site the other day, I was like, I need to bring this one. This is so cute. Yeah. Yeah, oh my goodness, yeah, this guy is just so awesome. Well, we are so excited for all of these here, and this is so amazing. So, okay, what else is new at the display this year that we need to be looking forward to? Yeah, I mean, I don't want to ruin any surprises. Of course. Um, but yeah, obviously, we have the, the pumpkin tunnel that I just mentioned. Yes. We have a few new pop culture displays okay. uh, that are super fun. Uh, we also have uh, an expanded bar experience. So last year, we did a lot of beers and canned cocktails. And this year, we've got themed cocktails. Uh, it's, it's I'm pretty excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> we've got espresso martinis there for sure. OK, amazing. Um, and then <laughs> we have, uh, so Slurg was here last year. Yes. And he sold out pretty quickly. So we introduced his friend, Boris. Oh. They will both be at the merch tent and we are expecting them to sell out in the first few weeks so make sure you go out early and uh grab yourself the pair if you miss out yeah. on third last year oh my god okay can i see boris absolutely oh my gosh guys boris is just so sweet here oh this face see yeah this i, I would buy like 10 of these little <laughs> guys for sure oh my gosh i love it okay so i have to talk to you too about this sensory night that you guys are hosting mm -hmm. can you tell me more about that too absolutely <clears throat> so Last year we partnered with Star Alliance to do the Low Sensory Night and we're partnering again this year. They have been great, amazing partners. Um, and so Magic of the Jack-O-Lanterns is a magical experience every night. And yeah. this year, or in this Low Sensory Night, we want to make sure it's magical for everyone that, you know, can't handle the, the, the really intense strobes yeah. that happen sometimes with a lot of music. So we lower, uh, we turn off the strobe settings, okay. we lower the music, excuse me. And uh, and yeah, it's just, uh, we create experience spots where people can kind of take a break from uh you know if they, if they need a little time away from from the crowds yeah. um but yeah it's it's a really great experience it, it is still just as magical as any other night yes so yeah make sure you you come out 
Definitely. Oh my gosh. And just so great and so inclusive. Well, Carolina, thank you so much. This is so exciting. We love this event. This is so cool. And we want you guys to have a chance to go check out the magic of the jack-o'-lanterns. We have two family four packs of tickets to give away. So send me an email right now. It's coco at ninenews.com with the word pumpkin in the subject line. That's pumpkin. Now winners will be chosen at random. So guys, good luck.